parents never think that their bundles of joy are going to grow up to be angsty, nickelback worshipping adolescent demons. But the reality is far crueler than the fantasies dreamed by wide-eyed mothers-to-be. Often, some of the cutest creatures of this earth are some of the most dangerous. Their adorable exterior is just a clever ruse to lull you into a false sense of security just so that they can have the opportunity to tear you limb from limb. Join us as we look at some of the most adorable animals that will murder you. Kittens no, we're not talking about lions or tigers, we're talking about the average domestic house cat. That's right, that adorable little fur devil sitting on the back of your couch has the ability to murder you because it's the spawn of Beelzebub himself. Don't worry, your cat isn't going to maul you to death. They'll likely just infect you with a murderous parasite and you're going to die an equally painful death through toxoplasmosis. To add insult to injury, the people who are the most susceptible to this disease are pregnant mothers and their unborn children. Not only are cats killers, they're also sexist child-killing murderers. Their depravity knows no bounds, as in one story described in how a woman's cats began to eat her once she had passed away. So, before you think about getting one of these feral felines, remember... They're going to kill your wife and your unborn child, and then proceed to eat them both with no remorse. The Moose, the one Canadian that's going to hurt you. In a perfect world, this servine beast would simply graze and sip maple syrup, but in Trump's America, they're going to trample you into oblivion. While moose are generally docile animals, they like their personal space, and any foreign presence can be sure to be met with a savage beating. If they feel threatened, they're always going to attack you first. In fact, there are more moose attacks per year than there are bear and wolf attacks combined. Moose that have learned to get along with humans can become incredibly aggressive if they are denied of their food. It seems that their pettiness knows no bounds, as there have been reports that moose have attacked their caretakers for simply being fed at the wrong time of the day. So, what makes these failed reindeer so dangerous? Well, aside from their powerful legs and their sharp hooves, the moose is an incredibly fast animal, despite the way that it looks. They also have the unique ability to kick in all directions, unlike their cousin the horse. With 360 degrees of villainy at their hoof tips, the moose is truly one of the most dangerous, adorable animals in the world. They've also been known to kill black bears and wolves in suspect cases of self-defense, but don't tell them we said that. In the off chance that you find yourself at odds with one of these fiends of the forest, you might want to look out for some of the warning signs that they're preparing for an attack. In most cases, the moose will stop in its tracks and begin to maintain eye contact with its intended target. It will also begin to drop its head, lay its ears back, and raise its shoulders before it goes for its charge. The Dingo The phrase, a dingo ate your baby, isn't all that far from the truth. These wild Australian canines are an apex predator, and as well, being one of the most adorable little cuddle bugs in the land. While these puppers may resemble your average domesticated house pet, they're far less friendly. They've been known to be aggressive towards any competing population of animals. They're also widely regarded as the main reason for the thylacine extinction in Australia nearly 2,000 years ago. There have been numerous cases where dingoes have been aggressive towards humans, including the famous case of the Azaria Chamberlain dingo attack. In the case, a nine-week-old baby had gone missing and the parents were accused of murdering the child. The parents would famously claim that they thought a dingo had ate their baby and were wrongly convicted of the murder of their child. The courts simply could not believe that a dingo, who is generally not violent towards humans, would willingly kidnap and kill a young child. The parents were eventually cleared of the charges after serving three years in jail when police found the child's jacket in a dingo den near the campsite. What makes these adorable pups so dangerous is their strange social behaviors. 
They can't be domesticated like the average dog, despite years of interspecies breeding. And much like the moose, the dingo has also been known to become aggressive toward humans if they fail to be fed by them. This is exactly why it's not advised for anyone to feed dingoes, as they become accustomed to having a consistent food source. And once they're denied that food source, they become incredibly aggressive and have been known to bite the hand that feeds. Oh, and also the neck. Monkeys! Yes, they look like humans and can even sometimes act like humans, but there have been quite a few occasions where they've proven themselves to be more savage vestiges of great apes. These wide-eyed, adorable creatures don't take very long to mature into savage serial killers and domestic abusers. There have been several cases where monkeys have been known to maul, beat, and even kill humans and other animals. In one case from Stamford, Connecticut, a pet chimpanzee literally ripped a woman's face off. In 2016, a silverback gorilla named Harambe violently dragged a three-year-old boy through his enclosure, which resulted in Harambe being killed. Ethologists have reported that some monkeys engage in gang-style murders of other animals, and some of them have even been known to kill their male children to prevent sexual competition. Worry not, friends. For the most part, monkeys are rather friendly to humans, and cases of violent interactions are few and far between. But it is good to know that studies find that pound for pound, the average chimpanzee can lift twice as much weight as the average human. Giant Cats now we can talk about respectable cats, like tigers and lions and leopards and cheetahs. You know, the cats that don't forge a false friendship with you as they lay in wait for you to succumb to the effects of their biological warfare. These cats are those who are very upfront and honest with how they're going to murder you. These are jungle cats, desert cats, and forest cats. For example, one of the most common large felines of North America is the puma. These monsters can grow up to a size of just under 8 feet long and can weigh 220 pounds. These creatures mostly are found in the western United States, from Texas all the way to coastal California. In other parts of the world, however, the apex cats of the wilderness include the more commonly known lion and the tiger. And it only takes a single viewing of the Lion King and two brothers to know that these two species are some of the most adorable little cubs on the planet. The Slow Loris If you've never seen a slow loris, it's time to search the phrase, slow loris eating rice balls. This video is going to melt your heart as the adorable animal becomes confused over which ball of rice that it should actually eat first. You're going to quickly fall in love with the video. That is, until you learn a few dark truths behind why the slow loris eats rice. The slow loris is a notoriously kind and docile animal, unless it's provoked. And when the slow loris needs to defend itself, it secretes a toxin into its saliva and bites its enemy, who will then go on to die in shock. So. How exactly are these animals being kept as domesticated pets? Well, before they're sold off to their new homes, pet traders will painfully detooth the animals so that they're unable to bite their owners. This means that the slow loris is unable to chew many foods. And it's also why the video depicts the adorable loris eating rice rather than its traditional omnivorous diet of small birds, eggs, fruits, gums, and various vegetations. So while these animals are incredibly cute to look at, it's probably best if they're kept in their natural environments rather than being kept as pets. Bears These little babies are some of the most adorable infant animals in the world. When they're at their smallest, it's really hard to believe that they would ever grow up to be savage killers. In general, most bears are rather peaceful, with the exception of the grizzly bear and the polar bear. Of all the bear species, the polar bear is the only one that is mostly carnivorous, with most others having a widely varied diet. Despite each bear species having dietary preferences, bears are one of the few animals that have been classified as man-eaters. 
This means that there are bear species that have been known to actively hunt down and kill humans for food. This happens most commonly in polar bears, who have little interaction with humans and don't have an ingrained fear of them. After learning that the polar bear is a savage murderer, you may never look at a Coca-Cola commercial the same way again. Polar bears are not only the bear that has a taste for human flesh, but this man-eating trait is also shared by male black bears. It's been observed that female black bears will only attack humans to protect their cubs, whereas males will seem to prey on humans and use them as a food source if available. Bottlenose Dolphin Dolphins are the Hannibal Lecters of the ocean. When you think of a dolphin, you may recall images of that time that you swam with one in Cancun or played ball with one at SeaWorld. But the harsh reality is that these entertainers of the sea are also masters of domestic abuse. In 2011, marine biologists noticed a significant increase in the number of porpoise carcasses washing up on the shores in the California Bay Area. Upon closer inspection, many of these porpoises had broken bones, bruises, and bite marks across their entire bodies. Almost all of them seem to have been victims of rape as well. This mystery would continue for a few months until a group of divers would witness a group of dolphins gang raping a porpoise near the California coast. The dolphins would isolate a single porpoise and then begin to savagely beat and bite the animal as the dominant male would proceed to release his sexual frustrations on it. The dolphins would then take turns doing this until the porpoise was dead. The unsanctimonious habits of dolphins don't exactly end there. When they can't find a porpoise to go to town on, dolphins are known to actually rape the females of their group as well. They even do it and kill their newborn children to force their mates back into a reproductive cycle so that they can start it all over again. When dolphins find themselves without a female to desecrate, they take it upon themselves to go after and beat the weakest male in the pack which sometimes results in their death. So, the next time that you go to SeaWorld, think twice about getting into the pool with the ocean's Chris Brown, lest you become the ocean's Rihanna. These have been just a few of the most adorable animals that are going to murder you and rip you limb from limb if you approach them in the wrong way. But what do you think about these cute animals? Let me know all about it in the comments below, and thanks for watching. The Striped Surgeon Fish Now don't be fooled by the name of this fish because it's certainly not here to help you. The Striped Surgeon Fish, also known as Doctor Fish, and Clown Surgeons are incredibly dangerous and pack a nasty punch that your doctor may not even be able to fix for you, even with the best anti-venom that money can buy. 